I've basically discovered the secret to SEO and I wanted to show you guys in this video. So I was watching Google Search Central, which is like, they have podcasts, they have answers to common questions. It's really, really good place. And I've never really talked about it on this channel because I just haven't watched it for a while. But if you don't know anything about SEO, this is a great place to start. But while I was watching this video right here, which I don't know how copyright works. I was originally going to do a video where I broke down this video. But I'm just worried that for some reason they would claim copyright. I re I'm just a really bad YouTuber. I don't know that kind of stuff. But I'll leave these points here. And I want to talk about these points specifically. You can watch uh, you can watch the entire video. Um, but basically, yeah, we'll go through these two points here. And then I'll talk about what I discovered, which is really, really cool. So at 11.18, they start to talk about diversity in search results, which is a really, really interesting thing. So they say, we generally do not show the same website on the top pages anymore. So this was a change that they made, I don't know how recently. So now there's a lot more diversity on the top results. This is something that I have noticed that there is a lot more diversity because I used to do a lot of print on demand stuff. Maybe people know that, I, I don't know how long people have been watching me, but I basically made print on demand content at the beginning. And I noticed that they stopped showing like five Amazon results for certain things and that everything became a bit more diverse. And that was why I told a lot of people to start their own print on demand stores on Shopify. At 27.13, one of them goes on a bit of a rant saying um, they basically tell a story about them wanting to go to a certain place to go hiking and they just wanted to know where they could park their car, etc. But instead, they were greeted by a 3,000 word article full of affiliate links about backpacks and things that he didn't even need because he was just going for one day. So what he basically says here is um, you ha people say that you have to write long content because Google says so, and you need a gazillion words, but you don't. And they actually, no nowhere have they ever stated that long form content ranks better. And I've talked a lot about this on my channel as well. These are just two highlights. And then the third highlight is the first highlight from this video. And I stopped doing what I was doing because basically they were talking about documentation and I was really, really confused because I didn't realize that there was Google search console documentation. But now I think about it, it's kind of obvious. And this thing is amazing. This has some things that you would not believe on here. And I'm going to show you an example of that right now. And you'll be very, very happy that you clicked on this video when you see this. So I saw this here, web stories, enable web stories on Google. So you may or may not know, you may have seen these on search results. Look at this here. These stories here, I guarantee this is a great way to get traffic, but this is something that I personally do not use because I'm, I'm going to assume that this is not enabled on the website. Okay. So maybe I can get this enabled. I need to look at this in more detail. Maybe you can get it enabled for yourselves, but this will bring in traffic. And this is something that I'm almost definitely not doing right now. So that's just one thing on this entire Google search central documentation. So this isn't just Google search console. It's everything. It's like the documentation of how to rank a website on Google. And it's very, very detailed. It goes into so much useful information. I am going to feed this to chat GPT at some point. I'm going to get everything out of this that I may need. And I'm going to use it to see if there's any quick wins that I can get for either of the websites that I work for. But when you first go on this website right here, uh, developers.google.com slash search, then it asks you if you want to make a developer program. And then once you, sorry, pr uh, profile, once you make a developer profile, you can actually save pages. And the reason that that, that is very, very interesting as well is because if I go on my dashboard here, you can see, be the first to know. Now you'll know when your saved documentation has been updated with new dashboard notifications. So this, is how you as an SEO can track the changes that Google is going to make. Okay. You can add all of the pages here to saved pages and it will tell you when something has been updated. So you'll be one of the first people to know this is probably how all, all of the big websites like, um, search engine journal and all those other kind of websites. This is where they get their information from. I guarantee it. 
because they always seem to have more information than I can find. And yeah, I guess this is why I feel pretty stupid and I'm sure quite a lot of people already know about this, but I've never really looked at this website in detail. So yeah, there's the SEO fundamentals. Obviously, these are absolutely vital if you've got no idea what you're doing. But even if you do understand, then they have like a checklist so you can see. Very, very interesting stuff. This is going to help a lot of people if you did not know about this before. So I'm just basically reading through this and seeing what I can find that's interesting just to kind of show as much as possible. And yeah, I just found this. So I clicked on snippets and it said Program programmatically generate descriptions. For some sites like news media sources, generating an accurate and unique description for each page is easy, blah, blah, blah. For larger database-driven sites like product aggregators, handwritten descriptions, or for example, iSuits, which has loads and loads of products, can be impossible. In the latter case, however, programmatic generation of the descriptions can be appropriate and are encouraged. Good descriptions are human readable and diverse. Page specific data is a good candidate for programmatic generation. So this is super, super interesting. We've actually been generating our product descriptions using Jasper. Uh, we now use ChatGPT probably a year and a half now, and it's saved us so much time. And it is helping the ranking of the individual products on the website as well. This was something that someone told us to do. And I basically said, if I have to do all of this because I'm the only native English speaker, it will literally take me six months to write 50,000 product descriptions, 100,000 product descriptions, it'll take me ages. So that luckily I just discovered Jasper and yeah, I helped everyone on the team learn Jasper. And then when ChatGPT came along, I also taught them how to use ChatGPT effectively. And it saved us a lot of time and it's helping the ranking. So it's really, really nice to see that this is what they say about programmatically generating descriptions. Wow, the last thing I'm gonna look at here is, this is super, super interesting. So in the video that I showed you here, uh, this one here, they talk about how their ranking system, although there are multiple, it's all one big system. So you shouldn't look at them separately, but take everything into account as one thing. But I was just reading this right here, which is freshness systems. And this is super, super interesting. So this is something a lot of people talk about. And yeah, this is something I've talked about on this channel. I've said that this is super, super important. We have various query deserves freshness systems designed to show fresher content for queries where it would be expected. That is super interesting. So like best winter coats 2023 you'd have to do a 2024 one writing content about various fashion shows you know whatever is relevant and but needs an update maybe every year maybe every six months every three months whatever it might be then you can see here these these are more about like uh, films and um, earthquakes but the same thing will apply to um, queries that generally logically should have like a fresh piece of content so yeah that's going to be the end of this video but i really suggest i'll leave both of these links uh in the description of this video i highly suggest that you guys check this out because i found maybe four or five very very interesting and important pieces just in kind of 10 15 minutes so if you spend a bit more time on this which i'm going to and i'll probably make another video if i discover anything else useful then you will learn a hell of a lot from straight from the horse's mouth, basically. Thanks for watching. I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.